Hello and welcome to the uh, zero coupon bond valuation in Python. Uh, we have Python running, uh, idle is up, so let us jump straight to it. So we want to define a uh, new class, which is a uh, zero coupon bond. So we call it zero, and uh, we define a constructor, we define in it self. So what we discussed last time was that mm, zero coupon bonds have several intrinsic features such as issuer, notional and maturity and some external such as price which is given by the market. So basically here um, we assume that notional is going to be always equal to 100 and we take um, the issuer as in fair math, but we're not going to use it in valuation. What we're going to use is, a is the maturity of the bond. So we take the maturity and we create an attribute called self maturity equal to maturity. So we have an um, object with one attribute. We also last time discussed how to calculate yield to maturity of a zero coupon bond. So let's define a method, define, which is going to be called yield to maturity. It's going to be taking self, and it needs to take external argument, which is the price of the bond. So um, how did we calculate the yield to maturity? So it's going to return. And we need to divide notional, so we said it's 100, by the price. And we need to take a root of it, a root um, which corresponds to the maturity of the bond. So how can we do that? Um, actually, in Python, what we need to do is we need to import a special function from mathematics library which will enable us to uh, calculate roots as well as powers. So what we need to do, we need to import. The library is called math. And um, we could uh, do it like this. So we could um, give it an alias. So basically, we could import it as something shorter for the convenience, let's say as M. So what it's going to do is going to read the uh, file uh, in which there is a um, this this library specified as range of functions and um, you will be able to see um, the link in the description so basically um, in we're going to use uh, from this library we're going to use a method which is called pow and it corresponds to power and so this is going to be the exponent and we also need to specify the power. It takes two arguments. So in our case, we need to take uh, nth root, uh, n being the maturity. So what we need to do is we need to um, t raise it to the power of 1 divided by maturity. And in order to um, get the percentage, we need to decrease it by 1. So let's save it. Let's call it zero. Run it. And now let's try to create some objects. So last time we had two uh, examples of a bond. So there was a two-year bond and a uh, ten-year bond. So uh, let us call the two-year bond short one. So we initiate it with zero and we'll give it maturity of two. And we have a long one, which is zero and maturity of 10 years. So right now we can calculate the yield to maturity of both. So let's uh, call YTM and we need to pass in an argument, a price. So last time we had an um, example where um, two-year bond was uh, 90, or the price was 90, and it gives us 5.4% um, yield. And the long one YTM 
was priced at 60 and gives us 5.2 percent uh, yield so that's all cool um, we could now ask a question so the two-year pays better yield so we can ask at which price would the 10-year bond pay uh, the same yield as two-year bond so in order to do that we're going to create a, a new function we uh, we gonna call it price and this time it's going to be the inverse of the yield to maturity function so basically we're going to uh, be taking um, the yield to maturity as an argument to this function and we'll try to back up the price of the bond based on that so uh, what we're going to return um, so if you um, recall the last time uh, what we did there were there were several formulas uh, you can you can check that one out or you can try to invert the yourself I'm just gonna um, write uh, here what it is so basically it's a notional uh, divided by mm, uh, we can we need to use the power again so we call m power so this time it's gonna be one plus yield to maturity so this is the exponent and um, we also need to specify the power so the power this time is going to be the maturity self maturity all right so we save it run it so let us uh, initiate again uh, those variables so we have a short one two year log one ten year so uh, let's uh, see now uh, what is the yield to maturity of the zero uh, of the two year uh, zero mod so we call short at uh, 90 short yield to maturity at 90 so this was 5.4 percent so what we now can do is we can go long and we want to calculate the price and we, we need to give yield to maturity so we want to know at which level um, it's going to have the same um, yield at which price level it's going to have the same yield as uh, the two-year bond so as a yield to maturity we pass uh, what we had before so basically we pass the yield to maturity of two-year bond short ytm 90 59 so we started with um price of a bond 10 year bond which was 60 and actually if it was um, 59 both would have the same um, yield to maturity we can check it out we can um, uh, for instance try what would be the yield of the long one um, with uh, 59 oops typo And we get 5.4 so as you can see um, yield and maturity uh, yield to maturity and price they are interchangeable so if you know one you can know the other so actually this is one of the reasons why uh, people in the uh, fixed income market they more prefer to you look at yield because yield is quite universal and um, it you it is comparable so you can compare the yield uh, of a year bond and a 10 year bond so it takes into account two this two information so we you could quote it as a price 
or you could quote it as a yield. And this is in fact something that we're going to explore a bit more when we gonna talk about what is called the yield curve. So basically, uh, if we have two-year and ten-year maturity, um, usually the case is that the ten-year maturity pays a little bit higher yield. And we got, but as mentioned before, we're going to uh, discuss it a bit more in the detail later on. So thanks for uh, attention here. Um, that's it for this episode. And uh, see you uh, next time.